today I'm going to go through setting up Kmail with Office 365 with multi-factor enabled. Uh, my office requires Office 365 with the two-factor authentication, so anytime we sign in we have to also put in a text code verification. Even without two-factor email clients that aren't Outlook uh, don't always play nice with that. And I set up Kmail a couple days ago and was able to get it mostly working, so I'm just going to go through that again and we'll see what we run into. I'm testing this on a fresh install of Kubuntu 19.10. should be all up to date. And uh, I don't normally use KDE, so if I do something that looks stupid to you, it probably is, and that's okay. You can tell me all about it in the comments. That's, that's fine. So the last time I did this, when I started Kmail, I actually got an error. We'll see if that happens again. Yeah, that's what I got last time, and that's that's fine. We'll just do that again. I'm not sure what that is. That seems to be pretty consistent, though. The first thing I ran into is the account assistant wizard. This didn't work for me. I'll I'll go through the motions, and um, I'll also point out I'm having to set this up on my work email. So when you see a bunch of black boxes appear everywhere, uh, that's why. I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to, you know, ignore that. So I'm putting in my work email and work password. If I do find provider settings on the internet, this should fail. So I'm, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this. What I, what I would expect to see on this list here is something about Microsoft Exchange or Outlook 365 or EWS. Um, none of these are options and as far as I could tell, this is not, this isn't doing what I want either. So I gave up on that. And uh, what I did do that worked is I went to settings, configure Kmail. and receiving, add custom. So this, this gives a very nice list of some options, and one of them is this, and I, this, why this isn't in the account wizard, I'm not sure, but this is where this lives. Sure. Uh, I'm, the account name, this is just automatically generated. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address. And take note of this. So username and password are not needed, can be empty when Kerberos is properly configured on your system. Um, that doesn't apply to me. The only thing that I'm interested in is the OAuth 2. Um, but here is something we'll we'll get to this. So for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna not fill this in, and I'm just gonna choose OAuth two, and I'll just show you what happens. Um, EWS settings, server auto discovery. This should work, but every time I've tried it, um, I get uh, something about their auto discovery service for my work 
causes this to not work as expected, but it doesn't matter because they use Office 365, and as far as I can tell, um, it's always the same EWS URL for Office 365. So that would be this. So outlook.office365.com slash EWS slash exchange dot ASMX. Um, I don't know why the auto discovery doesn't work. Uh, I've had issues with my work email before not doing correct auto discovery, so that may be that may be a problem for me and not a problem for you. But so here's the next thing: um, the authentication has two two dots, and you would think you'd pick one or the other because they're dots. But if you have OAuth two and you don't have anything else filled in, you cannot continue. So you have to put in something for the username and password first. Um, I'm not going to specify a domain because I don't, I don't need to do that with mine. So just like with my email address, I'm going to put in my username. It's my email address. And then my password. And so now can choose OAuth 2 and continue. So that that's a little bit of a clunk. I don't I don't think that flows very well. And so if you've ever used O365 or the Exchange Web Services, this should look familiar if you've got two-factor auth. It should ask me to sign in. This just like as if I were signing into the webmail version. And then I've got a text code I need to put in. And I've done this before, so this screen looks a little different. I think the first time I did it, this screen asked to add this uh, Kanadi EWS as an application, uh, which I've already done. So uh, subsequent times it's asked me if I'm trying to sign in as this. So I've just been choosing continue. But the, f the first time you do this, it'll probably say something like, do you want to allow this app to do stuff. And I'm just saying yes. So as far as my inbox goes and receiving email, that should work. And it takes a while, so I may I may pause for a bit while this starts to fill up. Okay, I came back and my inbox is starting to populate. So that's that's good, but that only gets me um, incoming stuff. So I can receive email, but not send. Uh, what I would expect to do is go to settings, Kmail, sending, add, because that's pretty much what I did before, but the only options I get are send mail and SMTP, neither of which are options if we're using uh, EWS or Outlook 365. So what do? Well, there is a package that for some reason is not installed by default. So I'm going to close out of all of this and bring up the terminal, and I'm going to apt install kmail transport akonadi some 
now, if I go back to Kmail, settings, configure Kmail, sending, add, there is Microsoft Exchange Server Mail Transport. Why that's not included as default, I couldn't say. I'm just going to give it a name. And that should be it. So if I do a new, I haven't completely figured, configured my account, so I'm putting this in manually. I'm just going to send an email from me to me. I think our email has been sent successfully, and my inbox is still trying to <laughs> catch up on over a year's worth of inbox. So I may have to take another break, but we should be seeing my test email shortly. There we go. There's my test email. So that's basic uh, sending, receiving email, and that's how you do it. Um, a problem I ran into, this is pretty minor, my work email has a global address list and it has thousands and thousands of listings in it. And when I tried to fetch that, Kmail completely borked on it and started displaying some just random numbers and letters. So I I might mess with that some more later, but out of the box, that did not work for me. Your, your mileage may vary. Um, and I've not tried to do anything with uh, calendars or shared mailboxes or anything like that. This is just basic sending and receiving email through Office 365, EWS with multi-factor and at some point if I continue to use this I will likely be prompted to put my password and text verification code back in because that's what happens um, so my thoughts on this uh, if it wasn't for the fact that the account wizard thing doesn't know how to set up Office 365 out of the box and if the manual setup for it wasn't as clunky as it is and if the Kmail, Kmail transport package for being able to send EWS was included by default if those three things were ready to go from the beginning this would be a fantastic setup experience if all you need is to be able to send and receive email through EWS. Evolution is okay, but the setup is a pain. You have to go into Azure and manually add in an application and um, several steps you have to do on the back end before Evolution will link up to EWS. Once it does, Evolution is great. I, I haven't found a free Linux client that integrates as tightly as Evolution does. Um, but the setup is lengthy in many steps, and I don't like it. I've also used DAVMail um, to act as a gateway between EWS and running a local IMAP server. This works pretty good for Thunderbird and other clients that support IMAP. And DAVMail 
does what KML does, where when you tell it you want to use EWS, somehow magically it's able to register itself as an application, and all you have to do is do the two-factor authentication and text code verification. Why Evolution can't do that as easily, um, I'm not sure. Um, but as going back to Kmail, um, yeah, great, pr pretty good uh, experience uh, setting it up. Um, but it's not, it's I, does not seem to currently have the same kind of integration that Evolution does. But that may be my inexperience. And if anyone has any thoughts or suggestions about that, I am I am open to thoughts and suggestions. So I hope this was useful for someone. Um, let me know in the comments if this was helpful because that that helps me uh, on a personal level uh, and that'd be great so thank you very much for watching